There are a few things you're going to want to know before moving to Dallas, Texas. In fact, the reason why now is the time to buy a brand new home is top of the charts. And we're going to dive in right now. What's up everyone? This is Missy with the Live in Dallas, Texas team. If this is the first time to the channel, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. While you're here, make sure that you tap that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you're notified every time we add a new video to this channel. We get calls, texts, and emails daily from people just like yourself that are considering moving to Dallas, Texas, and we love it. We love it when people like yourself reach out with those calls and questions so that we can help you with that transition and move to this area. We have a team full of experts that stand at the ready for you. So be sure that you reach out via text, call, or email days, nights, and weekends. We have your back when moving to Dallas, Texas. Have you ever thought about buying hmm. a brand new home? Well, I have, and it is a wonderful experience. But not only is it an amazing experience, now, more so than ever, is the perfect time to do so. But before we jump into all the reasons why buying a brand new home at this moment in time is absolutely a great decision, I'd like to first bring you up to speed on why that is. All those events in the past that led up to this perfect storm. So if you recall, in 2020, COVID-19 disrupts the complete supply chain. And with that, it affected the new construction industry. So we saw the prices of lumber, tile, roofing, trades, everything was going up frequently and rapidly, which was making it very difficult for the home builders to maintain those costs. And with the former contracts that they were writing with clients, you would sit down and you'd be able to pick out your lot and your floor plan and all the pretties that go inside. And then that price was locked in. Now, whether it took that builder six months or 12 months at the beginning, you knew what the price was going to be at the end. But with all those changes in 2020 and 2021, with all the cost of goods and services going up, they could no longer maintain the profit margins that they needed and continue to offer that same price at contract as they did at conclusion. So that was a huge thing that changed. Now, it didn't slow down the purchases of new construction because of that limited supply that we had in the pre-owned market. So it stayed strong, but we did see some monumental changes in the way that builders conducted their business. So let's dive in and look at six things that the builders changed over the last year and a half to two years that led up to why now is the perfect time to get one of those inventory homes and new construction homes for yourself. So the first change that we saw in the way that builders were conducting their business was in the pricing on the contracts. So they were no longer guaranteeing that the price on day one was going to be the same price whenever they closed. It was taking six, seven, uh, nine, 12 months um, and beyond on some builders to close. And so with the fluctuating prices uh, due to the supply chain issues, they can no longer guarantee that price. So buyers were having to change with the times and accept those pricing changes. Number two that we saw was the increase in build time. We had a labor shortage. We also had the, of course, the slower uh, supply chain. So it was difficult to get lumber and brick. We saw a lot of trouble getting the brick as well as tiles and paint. And so if they couldn't guarantee when they were going to get those supplies, then the time of construction increased. The third thing that we saw, no design center options. So previously, after you picked your lot of choice, and your floor plan of choice with any uh, cos uh, structural changes, then they would send you to a place where you could pick out all your interiors. So everything from the paint color to the flooring choices, uh, to the tile in the backsplash in the kitchens, everything uh, used to be able to be selected by the purchaser. Well, when you only have certain supplies that you can count on coming in on a regular basis, 
they were no longer to offer, uh, able to offer the design center as a choice. So each house came with standard colors and features, and that's the way it became. All right, let's look at number four. Number four, we saw, and this one still is a little bit surprising, um, but lot lotteries. So it, it sounds just like what it is. They would, uh, the builders would release certain lots, and if they had six to sell, they would say, here are the six lots that we have to sell, and you have until this date and time to submit your highest and best offer on the lot of your choice. After the winning bid was selected, then they would discuss the price of the house. And you would add the cost that you bid for the lot to the price of the house and the floor plan that you chose, and then you had your final price. The next thing that we saw them do was something called release day. So same type of theory with the lots, but they would put a certain floor plan on a certain lot and they would say they had six to release that day. It was first come, first serve. So I saw these families lined up on the sidewalk at two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning, just to get a spot for those six houses. So when you were able to get, you were in the first six in line, if they were releasing six that day, you had to be completely approved by your lender and you got to choose from this lot has is going to have this floor plan on it, or you can choose from this lot with this floor plan on it. So you didn't get to choose the lot and then match the floor plan of your choosing. It was this lot comes with this house, period, end of discussion. Do you want it? If not, there's a whole line of people behind you that are pre-qualified and have their deposit check at the ready. Uh, the sixth one that we saw is we saw builders that were building out a street at a time. So they didn't market it for sale until they had at least 50% of the street built. So again, no control over your lot or the floor plan that went on the lot or any of the interiors on the inside. It was these houses are 50% complete. We will make zero changes. And if you're first come first serve with the highest and best bid, then one of those houses on the street could be yours. So the builders were calling all the shots and they could. Again, there were uh, limited, we were very limited in the inventory of homes for sale in the pre-owned market. So in order to increase the inventory and to make home ownership or even the, the move up market occur, we needed those homes in the inventory to choose from. And so buyers were still buying, even though these restrictions were very much in place with the builders. Well, in the summer or early summer and late spring of this year, all of that changed with the rising of the interest rates. So now let's take a look at where we are today and how all of these items, these six things that led up to this moment in time, make now the best time to pick up one of those brand new homes. So in May of 2022, we start to see the demand uh, fall off just a little bit for new construction homes due to the increasing uh, interest rates that we saw. So with that, uh, the builders started to make those adjustments because they weren't selling as many homes as they were. So all those six things that we talked about earlier start to fade away one change at a time. So the contracts, now we have contracts where you know the price at the beginning and it's gonna stay the same all the way to the end. So buyers are winning. Um, we also are seeing where now you have the choice. Builders are returning to selling dirt again. So you can pick your lot, you can pick your floor plan and those structural changes. We're also seeing the design center options come back. So you can choose everything that you would like from the ceiling to the floor. We're also seeing no more lot lotteries and we're certainly not seeing uh, where the certain floor plan is on a certain lot. So the choice returns back to the purchaser. Well, with that, um, it's, it's interesting because I love to see uh, fixed prices. I love to see, well, as far as fixed price from contract to close is what I'm talking about there. And I love to see uh, that control turn back over to the buyer. Um, that's fun. So if you're going out and you truly want that custom feel of the house that you picked everything out, now is the time and the pricing has started to come down. The other thing that we're starting to see is a return of houses that were already under construction for another family. So with changing times, 
they may not want those same restrictions that they had when they went under contract. Maybe the interest rate is such that they can no longer afford the price of the house. Or maybe they go, you know what, I didn't get to choose any of the features and now I can, so they're canceling out of their contracts. Well, those homes don't just disappear, so they become what we call an inventory home. So it's on the builder's books. And some of them are complete and some of them are almost complete. They're at various stages of construction, but they are available. And that's another thing we didn't see was available homes to move into. It was certainly a long process. So we're getting information and emails on the regular from builders who might have their fiscal year end coinciding with the end of the year. So they're offering massive incentives on the price of the home. And also they're doing special financing if you use the builder's uh, affiliated lender. So that helps with the change of the interest rates by doing certain special financing options. So those things are making it an incredible time to snatch up a brand new home. Now let's look at new construction. One, it's now's a perfect time. You have inventory at reduced prices and interest rate specials, win-win, but you also are gonna see all those benefits that you always get with a brand new new construction home. So let's take a look at those items. So let's look at four benefits of buying brand new. The first is gonna be your cost of ownership. The energy efficiency is going to keep your cost of your utilities down on a monthly basis. The other thing you're gonna have are gonna be your warranties. So your maintenance items for the first few years are going to be extremely low. The builder is going to give you a one year craftsmanship warranty. And then all the major things from your uh, HVAC units to your windows, your dishwashers and stoves are gonna come with manufacturer's warranties in addition to that one year with builder warranty. The other thing that you have is um, a homeowner's insurance. You get a discount the newer your home is. So that policy that renews annually will be uh, substantially lower than a pre-owned home that's a little bit older. And then there's no cost of those costly and sometimes cumbersome uh, remodels. So you picked everything or someone else picked everything. It's the latest and the greatest that's out there on trend. And so there's no costly remodel. So the cost of ownership is definitely number one when considering new construction. The second one is the demand for newer construction on the resale market. When you go to sell the home, I have yet to have a customer come in and ask me for a home that was out of date and old and not energy efficient. <laughs> so the newer home has the higher resale value and it also sells quicker in this area. The other thing is everyone's new, just like you're gonna be new, the neighborhood is new. So you can get in there and meet new friends Everybody is, is just coming in and making that community what they see fit. You can join all the clubs and be an instrumental part in getting that neighborhood up and off the ground. And then the last thing is gonna be your equity position. So when you first buy a house, new neighborhoods, the pricing is as low as it's gonna get at the very beginning stages of that neighborhood. And it's just gonna to continue to increase year over year with price increases from the builder because costs on goods and supplies are gonna to continue to go up and they will adjust their prices, so they will continue to go up. But when you go to sell, whether you bought the house today or you bought the house two years ago, they're both going to be increasing in value. So the sooner the better you can lock in that price and enjoy the equity that you will with the new construction. So all kinds of benefits, there's four of them that I can name right off the top of my head about buying new construction. And then you add the inventory that you can get today and the reduced prices and those changes in the interest rates um, where they can do some special financing on that to help bring those costs down. Now's the perfect time to consider and to buy and to snatch up a home in the new construction market. So this is what I want to offer you. If you are interested in the Dallas Metroplex, and specifically in a new construction home, reach out, let my team go to work for you. We can uncover all of those specials and those discounts and those special financing offers to make buying a brand new house 
the absolute win for you and your family. But in order for us to do that, we need you to reach out. Let us know what you're looking for. What do you want in your new home? What type of area? What kind of amenities makes your heart go pitter patter? And let us go to work for you. So reach out, text, call, email. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit that button so that you're notified every time there's a new video to the channel. We certainly have your back when moving to the Dallas Metroplex, and we can't wait to hear from you and help you find the perfect place right here in Dallas.